Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otsu and welcome back to another episode of the Nomadic Challenge. Today, we will head over to uh, these flowery mountains and um, explore the terrain a bit there. As we are trying to make progress uh, towards uh, defeating the Ender Dragon, but with a bit of a uh, catch, uh, we do this in a not grindy way. So uh, instead of uh, going uh, mining, uh, farming and fishing uh, for all the uh, for all the goodies um, we are doing none of these uh, what we do instead is we walk through the world uh, marvel at the uh, new world generation uh, the uh, beautiful uh, biomes that we can find here like this uh, dripstone cave very dark inside um ooh, coal let's grab that that also gives us a bit of uh, xp uh, not that we will need that much xp because um, we will probably not do any enchanting. Uh, what we might end up doing is uh, if we can get our hands on uh, some good books, we might combine them uh, to upgrade any gear we manage to uh, get ourselves but uh, let's try to uh, scale this uh, this mountain without falling to our death that's a bit weird to have uh, the uh, the uh, dripstone also on the outside of the mountain and not just uh, inside the uh, caves but all this is still quite new to me so I really don't know if uh, this is just something weird or if this is how it is supposed to be. There's emerald over there and more coal. Grab the emeralds because whenever we come across uh, whenever we come across uh, a village uh, we probably want to check out uh, if we can trade something useful out of them. And the uh, main candidates are, of course, librarians for uh, good book deals that we then can combine uh, to get some gear. And then there are also... Uh, uh, some things uh, for which we need quite a few emeralds so for example if we want to have a, a diamond pick uh, or diamond armor we can get that from a toolsmith or a, a armor but we need to uh, level them up um, and we need to buy the stuff which can cost quite a few uh, emeralds so trying to get the emeralds 
is definitely a good thing. Uh, we also need to collect the uh, iron, gold, so basically all the resources we can find. Oh, hello. Looks like uh, there is an exit uh, there on the uh, other side. But aside from uh, zombies, there's also a skelly. And I am not sure how I can get down there. Landing on one of those peaks is probably not good and it looks like it goes up again. Before we reach the uh, outside. So maybe let's take the long way around here. Uh, through the open terrain. Do a bit of jumping around. Try to get to the top here. Yeah, you need to check where you are going. Not that you fall to your death. Oh, there's some sheep up here. Let's grab our bed and sleep the night away. Okay. Last time we searched uh, for a shipwreck and for that we tried to find an ocean. Um, by following rivers. It goes down quite steep. So let's try to get down there without taking too much damage. We'll take this coal. I think coal we can also trade with toolsmiths and uh, an armor. So that will be good. And it's this this terrain uh, generation. It is amazing. If you try to uh, terraform something that looks similar to this, well, maybe you have the skills to do that, but uh, I don't, so. There's that, so I have a boat somewhere here. Get out and take a ride in this direction. There are more curiously shaped mountains over there and in this side. Let's hop out here for the sugar cane. Is that we can always use to make paper uh, books. Uh, so we can trade with the librarian. 
over on this side it looks like there is more savanna biome but let's stick to the river for now it winds down in this direction some wolves and it goes in a circle unless we have another outlet this direction Not one that is connected, but we can lag it. And try to find ourselves a notion so we can finally uh, have a look for uh, shipwrecks because shipwrecks can contain diamonds and as we are not going for mining uh, at least not branch mining um, that's probably the uh, only chance we have to get our hands on uh, on diamonds This looks to be an end. So let's hop out here and go over this way. Hopefully, we can find something useful. Sheep. I can hear a zombie, probably underground, otherwise it would burn here on the surface. Over in that direction is more water, but I'm as of yet unsure if it's just a river or if it is uh, more sea like over there that looks like uh, one of the uh, new mountains so let's let's have a look on this hill just to be sure uh, that there is no sea ocean on this side no only a village and more frozen stuff so let's go to to this snowy mountain biome and the river down below is is actually frozen so I'm not sure what that uh, biome actually is because frozen rivers are actually more common in the uh, in the, uh, uh, frozen biomes. So let's see what we have here this is snowy plains hey it goes down quite a bit 
and that over there looks like snowy tundra or something that's familiar from uh, the uh, old world generation still snowy plains Ooh, that goes down. I think we can skirt around edge here. Then let's head to that village. That at least sounds like a plan uh, that lets us make some some progress. Currently, we do not really have too much in the way of trading with them, but let's see what they have. There's always the chance that there is something good in some of the chests. Pumpkin. If we can find a farmer that trades pumpkins, all the better. Um, ooh, quite a bit of uh, hunger. Let's deal with that. Another block to get out of here. Nice. Get all the uh, hay bales. Can also use that for trading with the farmer. And let's have another sleep. Okay. There we go. Checking out Okay You are an armorer you trade uh, coal for emeralds we need uh, um, We need uh, armor So we can get armor but as mentioned uh, we probably need quite a bit of uh, uh, emeralds hello there um, you have the wrong trades I can offer uh, pumpkins and uh, wheat so you have to decide what you want. Over there is another hut. Uh, 
bit of bread. I think I'm good on the uh, apples. Ooh, yeah, there are quite a few farmers. Um, but with the wrong trade. Yes, that's that's more like it. Um, but I need to convert a bit of um, wheat for you. That's all. Okay. I think the uh, pumpkin trade is only the second they have. Seeds don't need the rotten flesh. One more hay bale we can steal. Um build this level you up and do you have a pumpkin trade now yes you have two more emeralds okay and I think we have seen all of this village and let's head off in this direction because we came from somewhere over there. And hopefully we can find an ocean. Here, this looks like an ocean, uh, all but uh, a frozen one. Oh, it's a bit small for, a, for an ocean. Back there is a is a frozen biome. You can see the uh, ice spikes. And those are always nice. Ah and here we have the uh, the ocean. Only need to find the uh, edge of this biome. Quite a few polar bears. So if we can find the edge of this biome, we should be able to have a bit of uh, open ocean. least over here the water is not frozen over we only have these huge icebergs which look fantastic by the way over there is that no that's that's not a ship. It's just a colorful floor. Um, let's go in this direction. The hope to find some open ocean. I can see trees and shore over in this side. So I'm actually hoping 
background over here. Uh, that's where we need to be uh, headed. At least the uh, icebergs are peaceful as long as you do not attack them. There's a shoreline on this side, so let's try this direction. And of course, it's it's well possible that we find a shipwreck in this uh, icy biome. You never know. Uh, where is my food? As we are hopping along here, this broken nether portal down. So um, let's check that one out. Um, of course, nothing of value in there. So I think. On that high note, uh, we'll close this episode and uh, search for that elusive sh shipwreck in the next one. Goodbye!